Golden Eagle Radio is for everybody to like express themselves. This is a place for you to experiment with whatever kind of ideas you have. It's a very valuable resource right in front of you for free. Golden Eagle Radio is just a big tool belt with a lot of tools that you're kind of grabbing and, and saving for yourself so when you graduate you get to use those tools. I started teaching here 16 years ago. One of the classes that I taught was radio. And so in teaching it, students were like, well, we should have a radio station. We should, why don't we have a radio station? Why, 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 And I didn't have an answer for them. I was like, well, if you want a radio station, then start one. Live from Cal State LA, this is Golden Eagle Radio, and you don't want to miss out. This is DJ Anna Like the Nip, on the station where we stay golden and fly high. The kernel of the idea really started to take hold. And we got some students who were, who were serious about it. And just about the time they graduated, they had done enough work that other people who were also interested in the radio station began to come together. There was a core team of about 10 individuals that came to my living room. Rough drafts, these are logos, what do you think of the color? You know, we're planning this. And it all started in my living room and it evolved to where it is now. Nicole Fetter Stewart now, she was the driving force. And I mean that quite literally. I mean, she was fearless to the point of annoying people like the president. I wrote a letter that was not responded to. And if you have an open door policy, I utilized that open door policy, took another hard copy and put it right on the desk. Let me know when you're done reading this. She pushed and pushed and pushed. And so then it looked like, wow, we actually are going to do this. And we began planning for a real station. When I came in, there was a lot of things that were in the middle of happening. One of the main things was acquiring this ENCO DAD system. We needed to acquire the license to be able to broadcast. We needed to launch the website. We were trying to get um, a little bit of funding to pay some of the students that were doing the engineering here. It takes more than one person to captain a ship, you know? Like, Sophia was that captain for us, yes. really. There would be some of us who were willing to help her out. We weren't getting paid for any of this. We had to like figure out a way to get them paid, so we all got together to put together this presentation, and I presented it um, to ASI saying that we needed the funding in order to get past the difficult turn. What motivated me to join Golden Eagle Radio was that, um, I know it sounds selfish, but I just wanted my own show. Hey, this is Selby from Golden Eagle Radio, and this is your Midnight Madness Recap. And then as I kept working with the students and seeing how it meant so much to the other students, I realized that it was something so much more than just my own show. I wanted to be able to continue on this idea that students would be able to have a place to express themselves and to be able to have their own show. You're tuned in to the lunch table. There was just a crazy amount of people just blocking off all the en entrances so that Ben Shapiro could not conduct his speech. Just at one point, the crowd just started chanting, we gonna be all right. We gonna be all right. The latest food for thought on all things hip hop. If it wasn't for Professor Cox really telling us like, hey, you can become better, you can be stronger, like, then I wouldn't be the person that I am today. Everything that I know as a host, producing the show and writing the show and being a president or being a secretary or being a program director too. That was just throwing all of ourselves into our respective places and just learning. And right now I'm able to implement some of the stuff I've learned at school and it's Golden Eagle Radio, which is really cool because oftentimes you can learn it, but it's totally different when you actually apply it. Golden Eagle Radio has offered me experience, opportunity, patience. When you surround yourself with the same kind of peers that go through this as well, you all kind of rise as like a team. I think the relationships that I have built here at Golden Eagle Radio, I'm very appreciative of them because, you know, I'm working with people who really help you progress as a person. A lot of people hear like, you know, EDM or like Spanish music and just things that I'm not really in touch with. You know, I get to hear things and actually just sit down and I'm forced to listen to it. I realize they're pretty good. You have a lot of different 
backgrounds. And when there's debates, it gets pretty crazy. There's like <laughs> words flying everywhere. And it's good to know that you're accepted and you're gonna be loved at the end of the day. And that's what this organization is all about. It's super important to have a media organization like Golden Eagle Radio. I think first and foremost for the, the students who are commuting here, a lot of students are left in the dark regarding like the, the entertainment that we have, the great events, the great resources, and I feel like we fill that role. Our Golden Eagle Radio alumni are doing stuff. Julian Garcia's with Power 106. Jamal was working with NAM. Angeline, she's now with NBC. They're all doing something, and they all know that if it wasn't for Golden Eagle Radio, they wouldn't be where they are right now because I gave them an opportunity to make something of themselves. And in essence, I gave myself an opportunity to make something of myself instead of just sitting in a class, getting a degree, and being upset that I signed up for a school that had no radio. Well, then let me create one. I started off in promotions, and then a year afterwards, I end up doing board operations where I actually control what people hear on the radio. As a news assistant, pretty much at ABC7, I work in show production, doing interviews for the station, um, putting together a package for the on-air newscast, which is really great experience. I would not have been nearly as prepared if it wasn't for Golden Eagle Radio. One of the guys from Power 106 started following my journey through Golden Eagle Radio. They had called me in for an interview. Um, the first time I didn't make it through, six months later, I got a call from them and they asked me to come in on an audition. I had my turntables, I felt like really in my element and they hired me on the spot. April 7th, 2015 was the day that we launched the station. And we set up in the plaza out between the USU and that shell. And we had balloons, we had big old cake, and then we counted it down. And the first thing we did was you heard the eagle screech, which is, which is what our signature sound is. And then people were jumping up and down because it was like, wow, this is Cal State LA, and look what the hell we just did. When we launched the platform, we knew this was going to be something even greater because it's going to be something for the future. I think the future depends on our members. It's what they do for themselves, what they do for their station, what they do for their community and bringing it back home to give the next person the opportunity, you have to pay it forward. It doesn't end when you graduate. It's just beginning. My aspiration for the station is for one day we have so many members that we're gonna have to end up rejecting some people because we just don't have space. My vision, I'm gonna start tearing up right now. I really, really would love to see Golden Eagle Radio stay with that independent vibe and really be a place for us to create, you know, your deeply desired concept show. I want students who are transferring to Cal State LA or students that are coming from high school wanting to come to Cal State LA just for Golden Eagle Radio. I'm, I'm not a religious person. Spiritual, yeah, religious, no, but I feel blessed to have been a part of this. And I felt like I was put here for a reason, to do this. And I, I'm thankful for the opportunity to do it. If you have a love and you have a strong work ethic, then you can really do anything here at Golden Eagle Radio. You can become the best you before you're really out into the real world. Honestly, don't think about it. Just do it. Because what do you have to lose? What do you have to lose? <laughs> like My only regret is not joining when I first started college. Golden Eagle Radio was like the best moment of my life. So have fun while you're here. It goes by really fast. Cole gave a care about a hater. I be seen as a joke. I never have no station to promote. I got East LA Unity. It's a Cal State community. We only shoot in HD, no SD.